Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is particularly for you since you're watching this. If you are having this issue as the title would indicate, this video is really, really definitely for you. If you've noticed, you've logged into your computer and you realize that all your settings are virtually not enabled the way you had it. So what Windows did, it created a temporary user logon profile service for yourself and you're able to go ahead and use windows normally but not the way you've set it up so what happens is you basically need to go ahead and get back into your user profile service and you need to find a way how to fix it so uh i'm actually going to go ahead and show you a fix this usually works out 90 percent of the time for the other 10 percent there must be something behind it i couldn't really grasp the idea of what could be wrong and why it still won't work but for all others, if this works at the end of the video, you know what, congratulations. But um, all else, I truly am sorry. You can always, I would say, private message me, ask for help. But for the rest of you guys, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and show you some. All right, so the first step that you guys want to go ahead and do is on your computer, you probably want to go ahead and restart it because there's no point on going into the computer and trying to fix it yourself right now. So restart it. When you guys go ahead and restart it, you guys want to go ahead and at the boot in the BIOS settings, you want to go ahead and keep on hitting F8 constantly until you finally are able to get to that window prompt where it says repair your computer, uh, safe mode, safe mode with CMD, safe mode with networking, and start Windows normally. When you get to that prompt, and you'll know it because I just read it off, go ahead and go to the safe mode and just go ahead and press return on the keyboard you'll go ahead and see this whole listing of all your system 32 devices load up and just go ahead and wait for that you go ahead and load and after that you'll probably end up having a larger resolution screen in your computer so if you guys want you go ahead and do this fix first when you get into your computer you want to right click and go to screen resolution and go to the highest setting that you can, whether it be 1024 by 768, never do 800 by 600 because that's gonna be a bit annoying. When you get to the highest one, go ahead and press okay and apply and you should be set. Next thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to your start button right here and you wanna type in reg edit like that. So when you go ahead and type that in, go ahead and press return on your keyboard, reg edit, and this will come up right here. Now, by default, it should be collapsed and there should be nothing expanded. Now, the thing that you will be looking for is this registry key listing right here that I have in the sticky notes. You're going to go to this area and I'll walk you one by one so you guys can go ahead and get the feel of it. So first one that you're going to go ahead and go is right here, the H key local machine. You want to go ahead and drop that down. Next it says to go ahead and go on software which is right here you want to drop that down and then you want to go down to Microsoft which is right here drop that down and then to Windows NT you might want to just go ahead and press W on your keyboard then go down a bit more and then you'll end up finding it and if you're if you can't see it just make sure you go right here and just move it a little to the right go ahead and click on Windows NT once then drop it down Click on Windows version, drop it down, then profile list is the last one, which should be just about right there. Now profile list right here, you want to go ahead and drop that down as well. Now here's the thing, under profile list you have a certain registry folder right here. Now you'll have two, and what I mean by two is you'll have one with certain numbers, then you'll have one with the same amount of certain numbers and the last set of characters would be dot b a key b a k now with b a k you want to keep that one the other one that does not have b a k you want to go ahead and delete that one and what i mean by deleting it you want to go ahead and right click it and then you want to go ahead and press delete all right so let's just say for example you go ahead and delete it the next thing that you want to do is the one that you have left right now that ends with dot b a k you want to go ahead and right click on it and then rename it and then you want to go ahead and click at the far right you want to delete b a k and the dot part so dot b a k you want to delete that and leave only the character numbers at the end then just click to the side and let it 
you know, uh, modify itself. Now, the next thing that you want to go ahead and do is change the ref count to zero. And what I mean by zero is if you can see that character, you can see that it's one. All you have to do is just go ahead and go to modify, change it to zero. If there's any other number, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and change it to zero and you should be fine. And it's already on hexadecimal and you should be fine too. And then press OK. The next thing that you should do is on state right here, you want to go ahead and right click that. And you want to go ahead and modify it as well because it should be zero as well. Go ahead and right click on it, press modify. And you want to go ahead and change it to zero. Keep it on hexadecimal and you should be fine. All right, so the next thing you should be doing is going ahead and closing up the registry by going over here, file, exit out that, and you should be fine. Now, the next and last thing that you should do is restart your computer by restarting and logging into the user profile service or the account that has issues with the user profile service not starting and see if it works. 90% of the time, like I mentioned, does work, but for all others, I can do my best to go ahead and try to fix it. I had a problem myself, it didn't work, but on my other computer it so happened that it did work. So it might just depend on each system or just each setting. So if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you need help and steps in writing form, I'll go ahead and have them in the show more tab. And last but not least, if you guys want, go ahead and leave me any questions or suggestions on any upcoming videos. I have been very busy lately and I am really kind of a little distracted with the schoolwork that I have. So until next time, I will go ahead and have another tutorial in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care.